Hey folks, I want to explain. Okay, so, I just had an epiphany about when I used to work at the printing place, and you know, just I, mean, I worked there for a few years, but but they just, you know, I was doing a white format printer operating, and then for well, the last couple of Christmas parties that I went to into for the company was was when they he did did the the kind of gambling the games and all that so yeah like when I got them the make the fake money I just straight away went to the poker table whereas this money was just just printed by, by the printing place just to see who would, who would get the top prize and you know, I just really when I go into the picnic poker table, I quite often I have have a serious look, and then it just yeah, they they chat. And then I, of course, then I would make a bet, and sometimes I won and I win, and I lose. I win some, I lose some, and that was good. Like, but Trevor Hargson was. Was quite the good. Was couldn't be there because he had to, to look after his kids. So, but all the other her guys, like they, they know, they knew what I was, what I, what I was thinking. So yeah, so I don't have much of a poker face myself. But the important thing is I had fun and. You know, you know, like, I mean, if you want to, if you want to do something like that, just all you gotta do is grab some poker chips and chips from the store, from the stores, and and then there, and then just have a deck of cards and all that. So, so tonight I'm going to a hockey game. So, but because it's Swift Current Broncos are 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 in town, which is my hometown team. So, and of course tonight it's uh they're doing they're giving a bobblehead they to the first fifteen hundred fans and to go go to the rink. So, but anyways, it's just that's about. Yeah, so uh, like it'll be another bobblehead in my collection, and so anyway, yeah, yeah. So I've done things I'm, I knew I was supposed to do, 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 and but you know, like some uh, I gotta learn to just tune out those all these expectations, obligations, and opinions. I can't just block them, but I gotta filter them though. So, you know, like, I mean, when you think about it, people around you have clamor with these opinions, expectations, and obligations, and it really, it re sometimes they don't line up with what your your values are. But. There's been a lot of negative value. There's been there's so few negative values and a lot more there are positive values that that we that we all have. Like that's where I gotta learn. Think about my about the three best choices and three and the three worst that I made. Yeah, they ate in my life and as to why I made them. What what have I learned and how? And how would I have done it differently? So that's just it's something I need to think about. I mean, there's a lot of things I wish I would have done differently. So that's basically I just gotta learn from them. Um, so I, yeah, just that's why I got. The answers are buried within 
and those answers have the, the values like why did I choose this what I've it's like you know like you know like I move I moved to Red Deer because I wanted to attend college and, and have change in my life but one of my I gotta learn to just it's actually do think about my future and stuff and look at my biggest goals to see if they if it's because of other people tradition or or if it's me media driven or media driven ideas of how, how I live but everyone ends up being way of life is that everyone is theirs and everyone's and it's like society of the media like mind game is that it's it's everyone's and no one's at the same time and for not for lack of better way to play at it but anyways I'm just gonna finish this vlog and then I'm gonna hopefully make get some time on my computer to to upload this video so well so I'll do another vlog when something comes up maybe later or something like that until then just stay tuned